Hello everybody, welcome to Joe's Toy Store. Today's episode, I'll be showing you the new NIID Uno 2 backpack. Now, the special part about this bag is not for being just anti-theft, but because of its interchangeable panels to meet your needs, whether it could be for your work, your sport, your art, or your photography. Now, this bag comes in two sizes and three colors, so you could get them in either the 30 liter or the 20 liter, and they come in charcoal, gray, and pink. The one I have in my hand is the smaller version and grey. Now this bag is provided by Searching Sea. They have lent me this to make a product review. Now the price is ranging from 888 to 1016 Hong Kong dollars. And because there are too many points about this bag, I have to break up this video into the following sections. After you have purchased the Uno 2 standard backpack, this is exactly what you'll be getting. You'll be getting the bag itself, the work panel, a raincoat, a side strap, a booklet of instructions and two black bags. Now one of the black bags is for carrying the work panel, whereas the other one is for carrying the bag itself when it's all rolled up. Okay, now this part of the video I'll be showing you all the features of the bag on the outside and a little bit of the inside. Now first of all, there are the two side pockets. There's one here and the other one here. Now this is the right side of the right side, of the side pocket. Uh, there's the keychain holder as well as the USB cable that I've already had it outside. And obviously there's ample space for you to put other items in. For example, like keys or whatever. And then the other side, there is the actual cup holder or the umbrella holder so just for this purpose I'm using a whole garden beer so I'm just putting it here on the outside so it's outside of the bag not the inside I use this beer just so that you can actually see the, diff uh, the size and compare it and obviously there's ample space there so you can fit in a larger bot water bottle and then there's the back pocket so here back pocket And then on top of the bag, there is another pocket that you can store other items in here. And then on the inside of the bag, there's another pocket for you to put things in. So these two pockets on the top, they're all, they're actually not joined together, but they're very close to each other. And then the other feature is the bags, the zip stopper. So with here, it's actually just a hole just punched in of the leather strap. So by putting it through, then people, you can't actually open up the bag fully because of the leather strap. So that probably stops like people from stealing your things if you forgot to lock up your sips. And then the other feature of this bag is the anti-theft system. So if you can see from the, the back of the shoulder strap, there is the lock here. It's not a combination lock, just like normal sort of this looking locks. So all you have to do is just get your two zips, push them through, and then it's locked. So it gets hidden like on the inside, in the inside of the sh of the shoulder strap, so that no one can actually steal it. Obviously, when you're wearing it, then no one can steal it. And then there are the the reflective band, so you can put your earphones or your sunglasses inside. And the last feature is the luggage strap. So obviously, this is to put onto your luggage uh, handle, and then with the top here supporting it. Okay, now this part of the video, I'll be showing you the inside of the bag and all the how-tos, how to install the work panels and the earphones. So first of all, unhook this part, unzip the whole bag, lay it flat. Now you'll notice there's the cable here, that's the USB which you uh, put into the power banks. Now there are, here on the outside, on the inside, there are the two pockets. Now, because we're installing the work panel, we won't be using this. 
So we just take this off, open up the hole here, put in this sleeve, and then there's the other part which sticks back together, and then you're done. So when you have this layout set up, you can put in either the sports panel, or the arts, or the computer, like for the work. So right now I have the work. So instead of immediately sticking it onto the onto the bag, turn it around, you'll notice there's a strap here and the hole. And then on top of the bag, there's a, a button similar item. So what you actually have to do is combine them together and lock it up. So here, we put the button through the hole. This acts as, as a weight reinforcement. So now that that's all locked in together, and then adjust again. So that part's done. So this way, even if you have a lot of item inside this work panel, it won't peel off the back of the bag because of this button all locked in together. Now you'll notice on top of the bag where the top pockets are, the top pockets, there's also another one of this lock. But you're probably thinking like, oh, what do I do with it? Answer's very easy. It's for the headphones. So again, you'll have this part at the bottom and then your earphone in the middle and then grab the button, pull it down. Make sure it goes through the hole. Once that's tight and locked, then the earphone stays in place. Oh, just for the info, this is from Java. Dropper earphones, a Bluetooth earphone. I'll be doing a review on this very soon too, so stay tuned if you're interested. And then after that, when that's done, then you can put in, lock up your bags all together. Okay, now this part of the video, I'll be showing you how to use the anchor strap. Now, you'll see on each side of the bag, there are the two sort of loops. There's one, there's two, and then there's the three and four. Here. So the anchor strap can be used on either, either side. Now, for this purpose, I, I'll use the umbrella to hook it up, but normally you can either use the umbrella or maybe a tripod for your camera. So all you have to do is just first, here, hook up onto the outside of the bag, put the item inside, and then hook it onto the other strap. And then after that, all you have to do is just pull it. Pull it to tighten. Okay, now the item's all strapped in against your bag. And I feel pretty safe having like this as this is pretty firm. So you probably remember uh, from the picture that I first showed, there is this, this black looking bag and what's it for? Now, when you're not using your you know 2, all you have to do is just roll it up. Keep rolling it and then put it into the black bag for easier storage and save more space. Because obviously there are times which this bag won't be in use. Let's say if you go on a holiday or something. So lock it up and then store it. Now this part, I filled up the bag and I'm carrying it right now to show you what it actually looks like. So side view, back view, and the other side view. Now you probably notice that I have the umbrella on the outside and the drink bottle on the, on the other side. It's up to you whether you want it outside or within your bag, but obviously with the umbrella and the drink bottle on the outside, obviously, you save some space. Okay, well now I'll be showing you what I can actually carry inside a Uno 2 backpack. Now, bear in mind that I do only have the work panel with me, so obviously I'm not going to be carrying much sporting equipment here, or let's say the art or the photography, because I won't be using that. Now, so first of all, open up the bag. First item, I have my earphone. Now, 
key. Earphone. I have an energy bar, a packet of tissue. My glasses on the top. Now here, I have two t-shirts. Pants, shorts, and another short. And my sunglasses case. My laptop charger. A small umbrella. I have the portable USB charger and the mini wallet holder. And I have three pens. Three pens. And here I have the mini pad. And the 13 inch laptop. Now for the back. I have a set of keys bounded to the keychain holder. Antiperspirant, lolly. My wallet's in the back pocket. And then side pocket, I have my water bottle. And yes, that's all I have here, which you can actually fit a fair bit of things, obviously. If I needed the water bottle inside the bag, then I gotta compromise some space. But yes, it can fit quite a lot. Okay, so what I like about the Uno 2 backpack is that it's got the two different size and the three colors to choose from, and obviously the four interchangeable panels. Now, just to be clear, uh, the smaller size, which is the 20 liter backpack, only comes in gray and pink, and the 30 liter backpack only comes in the charcoal color. So obviously, if you're planning to get the larger size, there's only charcoal you can choose from. And also, I didn't receive the sports, uh, the photography or the art panel, so I can't exactly say whether it's good or not. Uh, but I, overall, I do like the material of the bag. It's very comfortable to feel and it's very firm. Now, there may be a little part that's dented in most of the time, but I don't feel that's a worry and I don't really think it affects its appearance at all. Uh, I like the also the two pockets at the top, so that's one and the other pocket that's inside at the top two. I like that easy access feeling. Obviously like the important stuff I'll be putting it here and the back pocket, so I like it how it's positioned. And the bag definitely looks very unique. Like I don't think there will be any other bag on the market right now that looks anything similar. But uh, what I didn't like about the bag was that first of all, the padding on the shoulder strap, I find it's a little bit thin. I would think that if it was just a little bit thicker, it would be superb. But obviously with the padding thicker, that means in summer you'll be sweating more. So that just depends on uh, my own thoughts only. Uh, also what I didn't like about the bag was this strap. So that's the adjuster. I find it's a bit too hard. So if it's creased, uh, I find it very hard to get it flat down again. And also the side pocket. So where the bag for you and show you. So when I'm trying to access the side pocket, I find it's a little bit too high for me to access it because as you can see like it's right near my armpit sort of and it's hard to actually uh, pull down the zip I mean you can but it's just not 100% comfortable but uh, what I normally would do to overcome this is just put put the bag on the side on one shoulder and just access it this is very easy and comfortable in that sense uh, also now a 30 a 30 litre backpack can fit up to a 15.6 inch laptop and you can also put in a pair of shoes, gym wear and a little bit extra. So for example like a lunchbox or something, so that's good. And a 20 litre backpack could only fit 
uh, less than 15 inch, 15 or less inch laptop with one pair of shoes and gym wear and that's pretty much all your bag uh, full so no room for putting extra so that's something you have to think about before purchasing the bag but in terms of the size they are both 888 Hong Kong dollars so in that sense in terms of practical I would recommend getting the 30 liter backpack if you're okay with the charcoal color because uh, in that sense a laptop there's a chance which you could use a 13 inch but later on down the track you could use a 15.6 which then a smaller backpack won't fit so in terms of practical like I would prefer the, the, the larger size Uno you know, 2 but uh, in terms of my height it's 167 and my friend's been telling me that when I wear the smaller backpack, so the 20 litre backpack, it actually f it looks better than the 30 litre backpack. Not that the 30 litre backpack doesn't look good, but it's just that the 20 litre looks better. So if you are for the looks and you're not carrying like a big laptop or whatsoever, then obviously I would, uh, I would recommend the 20 litre backpack. But if you just want that little bit extra and being more practical instead of looks, then I would prefer the 30 liter backpack. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video useful. If you have any comments, please leave it down in the below. I'll be checking it out. And also, uh, if you like this video, please give me a like. If you love what I'm doing, then subscribe to my channel to see more videos.